let's make some ultra delicious Thai scallop stir fry. I'm going to use some fish sauce, coconut milk, onion, some limes, red bell pepper, some pineapple, garlic, scallops, and the uh, Thai curry. It looks like that. Thai curry comes in green in cans like this. These are approximately four ounce cans and I'm going to use the one that comes red. I'm going to use red Thai curry paste. Now um, to make this taste wonderful I like to use this is about two cups of milk of coconut milk. I like to use one tablespoon a measuring spoon per cup of um, coconut milk and one tablespoon of fish sauce per cup of milk so if you want it not to have as much sauce you could use you know one cup one tablespoon and one tablespoon unless you want it really spicy then you could use more of this you know to your liking of the curry paste so let's get started I have a hot pan let's add some oil And we'll add our bell pepper and onion. Let this cook up. I'm also going to add the garlic right away in there. I didn't chop it up, but you can. But I kind of like to get a nice big bite of garlic in there. It's been about three minutes, maybe three and a half pan is getting hotter and I'm going to move the garlic I moved it around some to brown it I'm going to move it up here I'm going to add the pineapple up here as well and we'll put our scallops in if you intend on making this dish, please read the description. I like to make my videos as short as possible. You get the idea of how to cook everything in the video. But there are certain things that I need to tell you. That I don't want to make the video forever long. I like many videos that are like eight minutes or under. So we're going to cook this up for about a minute or two. It's been about a minute and a half. Some of them scallops want to turn over. Some of them don't. But that's okay. We're going to make them anyway. Because we need to get on and I don't want to overcook the scallops. I love scallops. To me, you could use shrimp instead, but to me, scallops are much, much better than shrimp. Okay, so I'm going to move all this over here. I'm going to add the coconut milk. Yes, I switched cans of coconut milk. This one is a better brand anyway. So I'll add that in there. Get it all in there. We'll add our two tablespoons of curry. And uh, ginger, a half a teaspoon. I haven't been able to get fresh ginger for quite some time. And two tablespoons of fish sauce. And then the juice of two limes. And we can stir this all together. 
Let this come back up to heat and cook for a couple minutes. It has cooked about one minute. I'm going to add two tablespoons of water with mixed with one tablespoon of uh, cornstarch. I don't remember if I did that last time. I probably did. This will help thicken everything up and make it a little bit more luxurious. About ready to serve. Let's put some rice on our plate. You could also serve with uh, ramen noodles instead. It would be easier, you know, to have some ramen noodles cooked. Our bubbling masterpiece scallops that are so delectable and the sauce this makes two or three good servings your house will smell like a Thai restaurant A little bit of cilantro. And there you go. We need to let it cool down just a little bit. Mm -mm, good. Well, let's give this a try. You can see all the scallops in here, and here's some pineapple. Pineapple scallops. Good stuff here. We'll just try the sauce for now. Sauce is the best part. Makes everything taste good. Mm mm mm. That is so so good. Mm. You gotta try this. I mean, really. This is just perfect. Perfect, perfect. Read the description. See how they exactly make it. And you're going to be eating fine and smiling. Thank you so much for watching.